After this video you will know how absolutely everybody can earn money abroad. Welcome to How to Expat. My name is Sam and we get a lot of questions from people that say I'm sick of life where I'm from and I want to move to Latin America. But I don't know where my income is coming from. Do you have an idea? So in this video I'm going to explain how probably around 80% including me make it happen to live life abroad in Latin America. So we're going to compare five different uh, ideas uh, with the pros and cons and we're going to start with vlogging or blogging. So for those that you that don't know blogging is writing articles uh, on a website and vlogging, vlogging is doing videos about stuff. A lot of people do it with travel or with uh, uh, some other stuff. Um, the great thing about it is that really anybody can do it and you don't need any capital to invest. So to get a website running and going and everything like that will cost around 50 to 100 bucks uh, at a minimum, but that's really all you need. The downsides surely are that you need, I would say, medium um, knowledge of of uh, web development, of uh, internet marketing and everything like that. To not just have a blog that has some information in there, so but you all uh, also get paid. Another downside surely is that almost everybody does it. So everybody has the idea, especially if because you don't need capital and everybody can do it. The competition out there is fierce. So it was not. It's not like it was maybe five or ten years ago where you could start a blog and and uh, you maybe were, were the the only one talking about that stuff. Now really everybody does blogging and vlogging, and especially with the with the video logs with, with the vlogs. Um, you have to expose yourself and this is really uh, underestimated uh, a lot of times also. So you have to expose yourself with your ideas and stuff and if people don't like it, you better be ready that uh, you get some bad comments. So these are really the downsides of blogging and vlogging. How you can make money out of that is called affiliate marketing. So look it up if you're interested in that. Um, you can get minor money from uh, from like Google Ads and stuff. So you get money from Google so they can display uh, their ads. And this is really how you can monetize a vlog or a blog or something like that. But surely if you have an interesting topic and you're uh, very, very, um, you know how to storytell and stuff like that, it's surely an option that you can make enough money with a vlog or a blog to uh, sustain life in Latin America. So another thing is surely consulting. So maybe you're in an expert of field like finance or real estate or whatever, and maybe you have already some clients uh, where, where you are right now and they would pay you money for your expertise. So the pros of, of uh, this thing, uh, this uh, income is surely that it doesn't require any capital. Um, and the other thing is that you can earn very, very good money with it and it's quite easy to set up. So um, yeah, that's really the, 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 the pros of, uh, consulting, uh, of a consulting business. And the, the uh, con surely is that you have to have some kind of special knowledge that people are willing to pay you for. And not everybody has that. But a lot of people do it, like I said, with finance, real estate, maybe some fitness, some uh, food, nutrition stuff. And you can start with that if you have special knowledge and yeah, just offer you consultant services. Then another thing surely is what a lot of people do is real estate. So uh, the pros of real estate are surely that if you come to Latin America and you have real estate in, in the US or in Western Europe, it gets you uh, already a good, good income. Um, and it's quite easy to do. So like real estate is no, not rocket science. Surely to buy real estate, uh, you have to know the market and you have to be a good negotiator and anything like that. But once you have a good, good apartment or a good house or something like that, it's not really too difficult to rent that out. And, and it's not a lot of knowledge required compared to, to a consulting job or, or something like that. And the negative points or the downside surely are that you have to have capital, especially if you want to do something Latin America. Most Latin American countries do not something that is called mortgage. So you have to have the money down for the whole uh, project and surely it's a big risk. So if you get gouged and you did not do a good deal with the real estate you bought, then you may be set uh, to have a lot of capital in one in investment 
uh, which you cannot sell for the, for the price you would like to sell it. So a big uh, risk is involved in that. And the competition also here is fierce because yeah, a lot of people do already real estate, maybe people that know better, maybe the people that, especially in the case of expats, know the area better than uh, maybe you as a, as a new expat. So um, yeah, these are surely the downsides of doing real estate. But if you have a good hand, if you have a good negotiation skill, and uh, yeah, a lot of people get, got very, very rich uh, investing in real estate, especially here in Latin America. Then another very obvious one uh, is like tourism. So if you want to come here and open a tourist business, so this could be like a hostel, this could be adventure tours, this could be a bar, a restaurant, or maybe some snorkel tours or whatever, uh, there's very good money to be made in that. Surely the downsides are that there is capital required here also, so to buy a restaurant or something like that, not everybody can afford that. And the other thing is that it's probably a lot of, lot of work. So I wanna, uh, if you want to employ locals here, that could be a lot of work just to get to get another culture and uh, yeah, probably hire and fire a couple until you get the right ones and everything like that. So these are surely the downsides. But if you're in an area that maybe has some tourists coming in and it's not too many, too much competition, a lot of people uh, have really successfully started a business with something tourist uh, related. And the last point I want to talk about is fr franchising something. So people here in Latin America love almost everything that comes from the US or from Western Europe. So if you want to open like a, a subway or something here, that could be a real option. Surely that the brand awareness is already there is, is certainly a pro. Uh, the cons are surely that you have to invest something uh, as yourself. I don't know if there is any franchising uh, uh, thing around that you don't have to put your own money in. This is certainly one thing. And of course, uh, if you're the owner of a, of a franchise, you probably will, will work long hours and have to figure out everything the same like it is with opening a restaurant or something like that. So yeah, that's uh, really the, the five points I wanted to talk about uh, today. Maybe it gives you an idea and gets you started in looking into something, research something more about how you can sustain life here in Latin America and live your dream life here as, yeah, as many, many expats do here. Uh, surely you have to research something, but it's surely possible. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you, have, uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.